Ah, oh, shit. There we go, guys. I guess uh, this plant will henceforth be called Leaf Erickson or Bob. All right, guys. Today we're gonna cover an exciting visual effect that is one of my absolute favorites. You might have seen it in recent media, but you wouldn't know what to call it. Uh, let's talk about pixel sorting. Pixel sorting is a process of ordering pixels selectively, either in the horizontal or vertical directions, through defined criteria. To simply put. It's how you make things look super cool. The earliest reference to the process is the work done by Iraq's Scientific Council dated back to 1988 as a technique for unsupervised classification to be applied to images from remote sensing satellites. Popularized today by Kim Asendorf using web-based language to achieve the same result. Thanks to Gabriel Grenier for making the effect accessible to the masses with the introduction of the AE Pixel Sorter plugin. Too much information? I don't think so. All right, now that you've learned a little more about it, uh, you can buy this uh, at ascripts.com. The link for the plugin is uh, in the description below. But fear not, because uh, I am going to show you another exciting way to do this or achieve this effect using the native plugins that After Effects offers. We're also going to be looking at how to um, do this for photos using Photoshop. Since we are doing three techniques over here, consequently the video is going to be a bit long. So I have provided timestamps so that I don't waste much of your time. And you learn what you came here for. All right, we are here in After Effects. Uh, nothing fancy, guys. Just a simple scene. I've selected a video with a good amount of highlights and shadows so that we can uh, completely explore how the uh, plugin works. And I'm just gonna add Pixel Sorter 2 directly to this video. You could use the effects panel or the drop down window. And yeah, you already can see something that's happening over here. Okay, the things to play with here are effect. So this controls if the effect works on your highlights or the shadows. Uh, both of them can do good stuff to your video depending upon how you want it to look. So let's work with shadows for now. Your angle determines how your pixels get sorted and you can either go vertical or horizontal. And we're gonna just stick to the classics because we're not gonna go take it in a very weird horizontal angle or something like that. Keep note, use your uh, threshold wisely. I always keep it from 0.1 to all the way to 0.5, nothing more than that. And it also depends upon your highlights and shadows. So I'm gonna bring it down. You can see it affecting. Yeah, do not take it more than that because then it's just gonna ruin your uh, footage. With that, for example. Yeah, uh, I think about 0.3 works fine for now. You can use the invert sorting to like flip the effect. So the, the way the sorting happens gets flipped. That's pretty much it. If you're looking at the plugin itself. Alright, I'm gonna do something really fancy here. Uh, it's, it's sort of like a secret uh, way to give that a bit of oomph into this effect. <laughs> I'm gonna add in a brightness and contrast filter. So uh, let's just disable this for now so that I know what I'm doing. Yeah, once that is done, I'm gonna drag and drop this below the sorter so you can already see how defined that gets. To further boost this extremeness, I guess, uh, we're gonna go with the noise. A simple noise and uh, disables it again. Also disable uh, color noise. So we're gonna add a, not too much, I guess. I guess we're gonna start working with this by, yeah. So, <laughs> that looks so cool already. Uh, look at these edges, man. So you see, you, you can control how, how much of that uh, definition you're gonna add to it. So yeah, just be free guys, experiment with the settings. You don't really get a fixed group of settings to work with because each footage is always different. 
all right we're gonna do a deep dive into the effect and see how it works uh, when you use masks so for now i'm just gonna duplicate the layer rename this as a background this could be the mask sorry i'm gonna disable the effects right now these uh, these are not gonna have the effect anyway i'm gonna delete them yeah, so I'm gonna disable the effects and add a rough mask around the helmet. So we're gonna do a quick garbage mask of sorts. Also tracking this could be fun, so I'm gonna do that right away. Yeah, I'm tracking it just so that the effect stays a bit consistent and has that bit of an, a 3D effect to it. All right, it's tracked. Um, you can see it's a little wonky over there, but it doesn't really matter because yeah, we we we're not, we don't really need a very sharp uh, mask for now. So yeah, uh, if I disable the background, you can see his head just moving in space there. And let's see what happens if you enable the effect. You see, you can already see a very, very weird, sharp edged uh, corner here. Uh, feathering this is not going to help either because you're just going to, the effect still stays the same with not really much impact over there. And yeah, masking this. So let's say we're going to cut this and uh, pre-compose this layer move all attributes into a new composition and applying the effects onto this is still not going to do the trick because you can see all the sort of artifacts that pop up over there yeah so i'm just gonna undo all of that um, yeah. so quick workaround for this is uh, using alpha mat so toggle switches you can see it alpha mat right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these effects and paste it onto the background layer so yeah once you've done this i'm going to use an alpha mat for the mask duplicate the background so that and then yeah sorry just get rid of this for the actual background so now we have a completely defined area that we can work the effect on and we can further uh, fine tune this I guess. Mm, looks good. Mm, yeah, one second. Um, yeah, boom. Just gonna add a little bit of feather onto the, the mask. So you see you have a very localized effect happening over there and it does the trick it, it's not gonna give artifacts to your footage and not gonna go all weird edged on you uh, it works all right now we're gonna try achieving the similar effect using the native plugins that after effects offer so i'm just gonna reset the scene and get rid of everything that's not necessary to us i'm gonna keep the mask so that we can experiment the same effect on here as well Alright, so we're going to start with the background, I'm going to duplicate it and add a, a directional blur to it. Crank up the blur, 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 blur length all the way to uh, yeah, 120 I guess, just extremely long shadows and highlights. And yeah, because we worked on the other with other one with the horizontal, we're gonna do this here as well. And now on top of this, we're gonna add a a sharpen effect. We're gonna crank this up as well, so that you have these sharp edges to work with. Yep, this will do. So what we're gonna do is this is going to act as a displacement layer for the effect that we're going to use so i'm going to pre-compose it and title this displace okay 
hide this layer because we don't need it in our preview um, so I'm gonna add a displacement map effect onto this and use our dis uh, displacement layer as a map for guidance so since we're working with the horizontal uh, sorting we don't need the vertical so I'm just gonna switch it off here put this at zero and you see you already have a sort of a you know, sort of an effect that's something similar I guess not exactly the same but nonetheless it looks really cool a really cool part of this is it's using the map that we've given it as a displacement so you can you can see the sort of a 3d effect that that it's exhibiting over here all right i'm gonna uh, enable the mask layer and then actually um, move this effect onto this layer so we we already have it over here boom there we go we can also further animate this by adding keyframes as you know probably the next one would be <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna press U so that I see all the keyframes that are in work you know, drag this a little more forward in time that and add another keyframe and just completely disable this so you have something like like sort of like a glitch yep so that's the two ways of how you can use uh, pixel sorting in your footages using after effects Okay, the next bit of the lesson is to do this to photos using Photoshop. And yeah, that's me uh, looking at something, I don't know what. Alright, so I'm just gonna duplicate this layer by holding Alt and dragging upward. And then we're gonna go use a filter called uh, Wind. Uh, yeah, there we go, Wind. So the trick, uh, let's just go to, but yeah, the trick is to use the stagger method and the wind method so we're going to use stagger method twice and the wind method once all right so before that i need the sorting to happen in a vertical manner so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, rotate the image 90 degree clockwise oops counterclockwise Oh well, it was the same thing, but anyway. <laughs> um, yep, stylize wind, stagger method, from left to right, All right? So we're gonna do that. And now what I'm gonna press is I'm gonna hold Control, Alt and F to repeat this action and another time. So that's three times and we're gonna use the same thing again but right here we're gonna use the wind and then we're gonna do it from the right to the left Oof. okay and then we're gonna go back and start again using the stagger from the left to the right and then we'll press again and another time let's do it one last time so we're gonna go to wind right to left now we're gonna go back again stagger from the left to the right boom and boom there we go image rotate clockwise so what I'm gonna do now is we already have the image and I'm just gonna take just a part of this something like that maybe yeah and then Control J, make a new layer out of it. There we go. A pretty cool effect. You can also take that bit of a and then delete it off of this one so that you have. <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Yeah, the, the Photoshop technique is pretty simple. It's uh, not too complicated. You can keep repeating this method to do multiple layers of this and make this bit extremely long. Yeah, the key is experimentation guys. 
that's it for the video guys i hope this was an insightful one um if you do try this you can use the hashtag a small part of you either on youtube or on instagram so that i can look at your work and uh, do me a favor hit the subscribe button if you're new here and uh, leave a thumbs up also you can leave a comment below so that i i know what you think of the video probably a question for me and until next time 